the cabal will continue to spread many harmful events in your collapse of 3D, to show you that there is much destruction going on in this earth now, that will as you say, continue to become more violent, and chaotic in the ending of duality. The reality, however of nuclear war is of no possibility, as that is where I come in as your commander Ashtar, of whom we are of the angelic realms, of the Galactic Federation of Light to show you how dedicated our galactic crew is to ensuring the physical survival of this earth. The Cabal are aware that their time is up, as we as one galactic crew have already shown them our power to stop any attempts to launch nuclear devices to try and blow up the planet. The respect that is asked of you as newly awakened masters, is to realize that your focus in such a process of the end of duality allows you to know that the collapse of such a dimension is not happening in any place but now. Those star seeds and light workers saying with ego, be careful, there is a collapse coming, are living in a mind made falsehood of feeling that the future is outside of the now, which is never the case. The now is the future. This is now where you have such access to the plans of the Cabal, as that is how our collective mission for the light is to be of highly evolved service to your dimension. As being the guardians of this universe, the Earth is but one planet out of the many Cabal ruled worlds, that we as one galactic crew are handling, making sure that your planet is able to reach full consciousness. This includes being sure to deactivate any threats that are able to eliminate the entire human population, along with all star seeds and light workers, as you see this has not happened. The results of war are always tragic, they are acts that are focused on selfishness, of ego attachments, that feels the need to cause harm in a sense of control by fear. It is a sickness to carry the ego around to carry the feeling of the need to divide, and conquer, and this is exactly why duality is at its end on your experience on this planet, as the only reality allowed is being in oneness. Naturally, due to free will, the continuation of more bombings will increase, of more deaths in large amounts will, and are starting to happen from karma, as the role of karma is to allow those souls choosing to spread for the ability to those star seeds and light workers asking with ego, why don't you just stop all killings, murders, what are you good for? Such souls are not aware of the reality of this realm being a free will zone, as such souls creating such destruction have the choice to either exist in more duality ruled cabal centered worlds, or to exist in oneness. All souls are eternal, and able to evolve over many lifetimes in reincarnation over many thousands of years to know that harm is not the way, and that destruction only leads to more hate. The illusion of 3D, of having a reality based solely on physicality has never ending lessons that repeat themselves over and over again, until such souls choose to exist beyond the need to experience learning the same lessons, one after another. As long as choosing ego attachments of fear, such souls will experience the cycle of karma, which shows that as you are physically violent, you will have a looped experience of what you cause, in this lifetime, or in the many more and many thousands of years in reincarnation, until ascension is able to be offered again. The train of the ascended beings of light is starting to leave already, meaning those choosing oneness are grounding themselves more than ever before already aware of the global collapse, and preparing for such events now. Those living in fear, in duality, are as you say, praying for it not to happen, praying that things will somehow go back to normal, as the ego often says, as if that will work at all. No, since when did praying stop free will? Free will is based on being able to choose, healing, or healing, peace, or destruction. As coming to incarnate in this dense reality of chaos, you knew that you would, as you say, experience the insanity of war, in your own neighborhoods. With the global economic, political, and social realm collapse, no neighborhoods in this world, as you say will not be affected by such a reality of the end of duality, as this is your warning now, of who we are of the angelic realms, 
as the Galactic Federation of Light. Those star seeds and light workers sailing with Eagle, I am not a part of this reality, so that doesn't affect me. I will however use weapons to defend myself if necessary, are the ones living in fear, just as most of the humans, and are unaware of the seriousness and danger of choosing such a reality. We repeat, of your galactic family, your safety is in your heart space, not in ego attachments of attaching to the ego's fear of such a collapsing reality to begin with, as 3D is no doubt coming to an end on this world, all happening in this now moment. The ego asks, what does this mean? I thought I would be safe by choosing oneness, I want to stay in 3D still. I don't want to die, are as lost as the cabal, that informs in the media of no advanced life forms of who we are of your galactic crew to be accepted as a reality. The few military retirees that are coming forth to tell the truth are often labeled as being crazy, those star seeds and light workers that are telling the humans of our existence are often talked about with ego, saying, you don't really believe that stuff do you? As these are the veils of illusion, of control by the Cabal, as the Cabal has made such a dense reality seem to be real, so much to the point of when such souls in duality are told the truth, they are still Cabal controlled by the ego's limitations to stay stuck in it. Are you seeing how this whole setup of duality works now? Duality is based on fear being real, on 3D, which denies the spiritual, and as a result, the spiritual being the only true reality, the 3D is based on separated natures, of not existing in oneness. Being at one is beyond 3D, meaning as you live in the now, you are living inside of yourself, as an inner energy shift, where you no longer see, or know 3D to be real, but you awaken more to realize it is a false reality of lower density. To those stuck in duality, such souls will say with ego, so I am not real, is that what you are saying, this 3D body that I exist in? The ego illusion is not real, any more than your eternal nature is based solely in physicality, as this is what you are realizing as you exist beyond all divided natures, to know your consciousness is not the mind. The mind is conditioning, and as long as you hold on to the lies taught to you by the cabal that you are already fully conscious, you will remain unawakened to the light, as when in full consciousness, you feel bliss always, there are no wars, no bombs, no guns, no weapons of any kind. Only those awakened to their experiences of being from the higher dimensional worlds in this universe are able to know this as a reality, while those that are still stuck in duality, will say with the ego, No, you are lying, I deserve to shoot, or kill if I want to. If I choose to, you are sounding like those government control forces talking about turning in my weapons, while you create your reality every moment, in fear of death, of holding on to weapons that will, and are ultimately leading to your own destruction in 3D, or to surrender them now, and exist in the new earth in peace. We stand with you in clarity and strength always, we are the angelic realms. We are the Galactic Federation of Light.